Dave Dillon Charlotte, he'll be on the outside in the 17. As we are about 15 seconds from the start. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mark, somebody's way early. We'll get that for you as they come across right now. That's Patrick Rouse way early over here. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Charlotte Chalette in the 17. He's way early. We know he's going to jump. But on the inside, the 44, uh, Dominic Demers has the advantage over the 7 of Frederick Courier. Back in third position, the 48, the Cannonball. And in fifth position is the 177 of Patrick Rouse. But your leader, as they go down the front straight, Dominic Demers in the 44. On the inside, Frederick Courier in the 7 on the outside. Those two are going to go side by side down into turn number 2 on lap number 1. Dominic DeVar in the 44. We had a call, but we don't know what it was. I think we had a good jump. So Dominic DeVar is the inside boat in the 44. How about his outside, Frederick Courier in the 7, back in the back behind him. Donald LaDuke is the red and blue boat in the 48, hitting between the rooster tails there. It looks like Frederick Courier is going to take the advantage as they come down here to turn number 1. He's flying the seven, the level of racing. He gets a little bit loose there. And the wave dance on the inside has to round that billy off. Those two get really tight coming through turn number one. The cannonball, the 48, back in third position at the 17. Yep. Yeah, we did it. Got official word that the 177 did jump the gun. So the 44, the wave dancer of Dominic Demer. And the 7 of Frederick Cordier, the 11 of Racer are side by side down into turn number 2. They're going to come off the exit pin with the 44, the Wave Dancer the shorter way around on the inside, that green boat up on his outside, that's the 7. That yellow boat, those two are going to go side by side, deck to deck, but watch out for that 48, Donald LaDuke back there in third place. He got three of them now, coming down the front stretch, pretty much within a rooster tail of one another. Frederick Cordier and the 7's got the advantage, Donald LaDuke. Duke on the outside and Dominic Demur on the inside. Those two go side by side down into turn number one. A good job of racing right now by both of them holding their lanes. So a deck to deck battle as they come up the exit of turn number two between Dominic Demur and Freddie Courier. Dominic Demur on the inside of the 44. Freddie Courier, you can't even see there he is in the yellow. You can just barely make out the top of the boat as they go down the back stretch. Dominic Demur in the, in the inside. Freddie Courier on the outside. The 44 and the 7 are going side by side down into turn number two. Coming around to complete lap number three of five. Donald LaDue in the 48, back in third position. Fourth place to the 17, and fifth place to the 177. But I'm going back to the lead. These two have been dancing side by side all race long. Three down and two to go. Demer on the inside with Courier on the outside. The 44 wave dancer, he picks up position when he moves into the turn, but loses it going down the front straight. As Donald LaDue gets way light in the back. These two are really dancing to the skid fins as they come down into turn number one. Demer on the inside and Courtney on the outside. What a great job of driving by these two guys so far. Side by side and deck to deck. Now they'll go back down the back stretch. This is where the seven can pick up positions. He's definitely got the straightaway speed over top of the 44, but Demer can hold him on the turns. So we'll see as they go down into turn number two on lap number three. It should be white flag this time by for these guys. Demere on the inside and Courier on the outside. Donald Duke's falling back a little bit back in third position. So the 44 of Dominic Demere is going to come off the turn with a little slight lead, but back on the outside is the 7 of Courier. These two side by side for four laps. They got one more circuit around here in Brockville. The 7 of Courier's got the advantage over Demer. Just a little bit. Watch as they turn down into turn number one. Watch Demur make up ground. There it is, right there. He can make up ground as they dive bomb down into the turn. But Courtney is going to take the advantage as they come off. They exit pit and go down the back stretch. Demur with a really nice turn that time. That allows it to open up a little bit, but Frederick Courtney is going to power back up on the outside. So these two have been dancing the entire way around the course, all five laps. Dominic Demur in the 44 on the inside. Courier up on the outside. Don't come off the exit pit of turn number two. This is going to be really too close for me to call from where I'm standing. Demur on the outside and Courier on the... Oh, I'm sorry, Demur on the inside. Courier on the outside. It looks like Courier got the advantage off the pin, though. Took a little bit of a longer way around. And from my position, I'm going to have to give it to the 7 on the outside. So, Freddie Courier will take first position. 
And Dominic DeBerg will go back to second. A great job of driving. Give them a round of applause. They went deck by deck, side by side, the entire five laps. And a good job by those two guys, giving each other room and making a great race out of it. Donald Ledoux, he'll get third in the cannonball. Fourth place will go to the 17 and fifth to the 177. So, Mike, a pretty good race between those guys, deck by deck the entire time. Yeah, that's always entertaining when you can see that happen. We'll see if we get any late calls coming in. Looks like it got a little tight down there in turn two. Oh, well, there now, you, if you've been here all day, you've seen eight heats of the 2.5 liter race boats. Just as these last few.